our hearts will be drawn closer to heaven. Amen. The last uh, few weeks I've been trying to shake off uh, some coughing and uh, I've not been able to do that quite as yet, but by God's grace, I'm here. Amen. <laughs> and uh, I'm hoping by God's grace, I can do it. Uh, I'm going to try to hurry up, do what I'm supposed to do, Sister Marilyn, so that I can uh, take my seat. Um, I'm here, of course, with my my wife, as always. Yes, amen. Uh, we're almost always together. Our message this morning is entitled, What is man that he cares so much for him? Praise God. <clears throat> Has love story ever been told? Has love story ever written under the heaven? Is the story of Jesus and his bride, the church. A man so deeply in love with a girl who unfortunately don't care too much for him. He relentlessly pursue the relationship and at the end he tragically got so that she don't God, creator of heaven and earth, he who created the universe, and then created laws to govern his universe by his own law, die, literally die, to sin creatures that he made out of okay. I am so heaven. <clears throat> Jesus Christ back from the grave. At this moment, charge of the rest of the proceedings. For Jesus Christ. <laughs> what is man? <laughs> We care so much. In some, it in the best spring. The psalmist David said, "When I consider the heavens." The work of thy fingers. When I consider the majesty, the beauty, the splendor, the elegance with which you design a piece of real estate up yonder that we call heaven, when I consider you created heaven for this man. That you care so much for him. Each of us has a guiding angels. Angels are guiding us. No, which guide them? Which man? That you care so much for him. Yes. Thank you. You guess. Before the fall of man, God, of course, 
saw the fall and made provision to address the situation when it happened. Before the fall of angels, according to the pen of inspiration, God saw the fall. That's right. Did anyone promise to die to save angels? One is man. But you can't ask for much. Thomas David knew about Calvary. How do we know that? Psalm 22. Then he said, the king of Jesus, they pierced my hands and my feet. Still in Psalm 22, David said, that I would come among them, and for my investor they cast lots. Psalm 22 again. David said, they, speaking of Jesus, David said, they that see me, let me describe the short years. And they said, he delighted in God. We let him deliver him now. Why is that important? Well, I'm going to do this. David knew about Calvary. Who told him? Jesus told him. And if that is the case, it means that when God took clay and whom never he breathed in that you care so much for him. That's not in your imagination. Jesus took clay, then formed us men. Mm -hmm. And before he breathed into Adam's nostrils, he could see Calvary up ahead. Remember, Adam's lifeless body still on the ground. Jesus could see someday we would raise our hands on the hill come, create us and beat the daylight out of him. And then nail him to a piece of wood and then hold him between the head. Mind. What did he can speak? One thing they didn't he throw away the clay. If you stand before the altar before the pastor, ready to get married, ready to say I do, and then you have the foresight to see that your it was just he Life 
-hmm. was aware of Calvary. We need to go to our scripture before we can move on. Um, Hebrews chapter 12 and uh, I'm going to read verse 2 looking unto Jesus the offer and feature of our faith whom for the joy that was before him and your let me pause for event. That was before him. Is it okay if I preach for a few minutes? Adam's lifeless body still on the ground. On the one hand, Jesus, you see, into Adam, he could see mercy. years of disease, death. And salvation. He could see that. And he could see Calvary. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Jesus, with Adam, lifeless body, walked for him. Yes, he spoke the dark, dark, dark Friday at the night. And that's not all. Sensations <laughs> of death, vision, disease. On one, but on the other. Yes. Because of the point that we see. Before him, all he saw was not the under upper. On the other hand, he saw about the purpose. The death in Christ of all ages, along with the living things. Uh, and that they will be thrilled with a joy. That is already turning. What? My name is. Yes, forever. Adam's <laughs> on the one the son of Yeah. Oh. 
Jesus bent forward as a body, life. And so the spirit. He knew exactly what was going to happen. The game will begin. So on the stand, the law of good force, don't stand at Calvary. You need to go back in time to that place where John talks about a lamb slain from the foundation of the earth. This is where the decision is. This morning I hear. And I stood here more than 6,000 years later. And I'm here to tell you what we have had death and salvation. We have had 6,000 years of tough, tough, tough times. What happened? Cow. It was because of the joy before he died. Not his joy. It's your joy. You are a Jew. Thank God you are a Jew. Good morning, friends. The devil came down here and he mashed up everything that could be mashed up. I saw you this morning and I want you to know that Jesus will soon be on his way. And it's coming to repair the things that devil has missed. Even us, the devil mashed up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Look what like God is in me. And so And when he gets here, he is coming to uh Clean our water. He's gonna clean our air. He's gonna eat our land. Praise God! Is Jesus. And you will eat this land. That it will not mash up anything beyond Jesus' ability to repent. For 6,000 years, Jesus allowed the devil to mash up this planet all he can. Is God, it's a Magdalene. Jesus will soon be on his way. I 
Everybody needs God. Everlasting Jesus. Thanks on four. Our Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, in the book of Luke, we read about Jesus going into some villages, and by the time he got out, there was no one big left in those villages. Well, guess what? Diseases and sicknesses would be a thing of their power. We have seen one living with good friends for the last eight years. Not my relative, not my friend. Um, he needed help. And uh, my wife and I, we decided to take him. And he has been sick for many years. In her out of the hospital. Then a couple of weeks ago, he was not well, we took him to the hospital. And then one three morning. Ever confess the said the folly. And I'm sorry. How Jesus will soon be here. Okay. And when he gets here, Diseases, sickness, and death will be known. The things that the devil must up, Jesus is coming to replace, repair, and when finish, he's gonna finish. Our God is a man of war. If you watch the Old Testament very closely, remember that time Pharaoh killed um, uh, little boys, every Hebrew boy in Egypt? Before the Israelites left Egypt, remember what happened, the last thing? Killed every first boy in Egypt. Oh, amazing. Oh, these days, when Jesus returns to this place, He's going to take care of the problems that we have here. And he is going to mash up the devil. And if I try to imagine Satan running with his hair on fire. Satan, Jesus, we do it. And Jesus has set a day to deal with it. I want to read in your hearing. I'm going to take my seat in a little bit. I'm going to read in your hearing a quotation from Ethan White. Reading the scriptures, I have always on this that God is a very wise God, yes. and that because our planet, because this earth went through so much, Jesus was gonna help folks from out of the universe to make a serious comeback. Now, listen to the servant of the Lord. I'm reading from 
desire of ages. My nose is running. It's right. Page 26. Listen carefully. Our little world, under the curse of sin, mm -hmm. the one that brought in his glorious creation, will be honored above all other worlds in their universe. Yes. You have the power, the choice to change your citizenship. You can choose to be a Marx of the planet in the universe. My advice to you is don't change. Stay here. Stay here with all the disease, with all the salvation, with all the death, with all the when the story reaches its end, sort of man, please mention the final says the final thing I don't belong to the kingdom. This is the end. We are going to go. From the what? 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 Who? And what? That's a very good one. That's a very good one. You can find this number of them again. Yes. She says, Here, where the Son of God tabernacled in humanity, where the King of glory lived, suffered, and died. Here, Emil he said, all things new, but tabernacle of God shall be with man. And then with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be their God. And through endless ages, as the Redeemer, and walk in the light of the Lord, they will praise him for his unspeakable <laughs> Will it surprise you if I tell you you are fortunate to be residents of this earth? Jesus has been. I remember when the Israelites left Egypt, he told Moses, Hey, I want you to take a detour and start heading towards the sea. And he told Moses, Say, I'm a poor general. I, I lift the people um, into a trap. If you stay with the story, that is exactly what Pharaoh said. And guess what? The trap was. Sons are different from us. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> In Revelation, we read Jesus says, Behold, I make our own opportunities. You are starting to make all things new. If you are sick this morning, my voice to you is on the strength of energy for my ending. Jesus will soon be on his way. And God in his wisdom, the child of God, this useless state die. The grave is not going to be able to hold you there. That's why I'm going to come. Stand. Go stop for me. Go care what you are going through this morning. My advice to you is uh, don't quit. Stop. 
that's fine. Look at the field. Jesus Christ. Be here. Pause. With the trumpet sound. Mm. And our Savior, Jesus, returns to this earth. Every child of God, every one that have died in Christ, will come back to life. Along with the righteous living, I remember I preached my church and I was telling my brethren, if I happen to know, if I happen to be in seclusion, when the trumpet sound, if I have enough time, I will hunger it. That there is no solution. Then, I say, Chicken Center. I honestly believe my mom is. I'm going to be among Jews that will come and look the glory. I believe that with all my hearts. I will wonder it. Yes, very. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. Mercy, mercy, Lord. Oh, your salvation is hidden in Christ Jesus. My advice to us is to serve the Lord. Uh, the Apostle Paul talks about the work of the flesh and um, uh, mentioned a long list of um, uh, things, uh, adultery, fornication, and uh, so forth. Uh, and uh, he says, they which do such things shall not enter the kingdom of God. God if you will not practice in anything that's on that list, you know. If you are a speaker, he will tell you. If he said not the angels that sin, will he say? I know. If you ask the Lord, he will tell you. If he say he's gonna drop fire, he's gonna drop me for sure. As fast as you can. The Lord is a little bit gone. But it is a serious test. He is a just God. And he is dead. Ready for it? No. Are they ready to sit down? Allow me to tell you. Jesus will soon be on his way, and he is coming to make all things new again. If you have problems, see him. be a thing of the past, there will be no blind woman in heaven. If you have problems walking, if you have dreams, we do. Jesus is coming. Um, Jesus is coming to turn our sorrows 
It says, because of the joy, he despised the shame. Watch him. Allow me to help you. Jesus could see if he breathed into Adam's nostrils, someday they will bid him take his clothes off, bid him bad, and hang him like a murderer. How can the creator of the universe subject himself to something like that? Guess what? When Jesus looked at the joy, because of the joy, Jesus humbled himself. This verse is God, 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 it despise the share. You and I can live with him eternal. As I said them, my last words to you is Jesus is coming to take a people that is prepared. Yes. The Bible says your names must be the Lamb's book of life. This morning, just before, it's not morning again, just before I said that, perhaps there is someone here. To love the Lord. And you understand that we are not going to get to heaven by chance. You want to make sure that when that moment comes when you shall breathe your last, your soul is hidden in Christ Jesus. This morning, if you want to make sure that your name is written on the last book of life, when that rule of God up you that. I would like to pray for you. If you love Jesus and you want to go with him when he comes, but you are aware of some issues that is currently uh, exist in your life. And get off you this message is fine. We have today. Tomorrow is not promised to us. When we were informed, that a friend who lived with us passed away. I wish. In my view, he was not sick enough. Today. Not the most surprise. Not 
We need to make sure of our salvation today. According to scriptures, it is the most important thing in your life. It comes before your children, your husband, it comes before, it comes, it, it is the most important thing. If can you imagine Jesus gives you 60 years of life? You buy, you sold, you eat, you drink, you did everything under your skin, but you let your salvation taken care of. Some of us here, Seventh-day Adventists, uh, we've been in the body of Christ for years, but we have some small issues and we, it can cause us heaven. Because Lord, mercy. It's true. I'm here this morning to tell you, please, we can't believe salvation. Man. Make tea that I will say, yeah. It's nothing on I find every morning before you do it, make a make sure if you do not see, I have this shit. This wind that sounds I'm nothing to worry about. Let us take care of our salvation today while we can. Yes, because we may not be able to do that. I'm so glad that our, our friend, we were able to lead him to Christ. Mr. Lord, you remember that moment when he got us. <laughs> and he was going to church. He said that enjoy church so much. When my wife, um, uh, check on him. He dress in his church clothes, jacket on time. Where are you going? He said, church. He said, no, today's Tuesday. It's nice. And yeah. until a few times he dress in his jacket and shoes, and nothing goes. <laughs> I would like you to leave knowing that Jesus, he has paid the price for you and he's coming for the people that is prepared. Yes. He loves you, he cares for you, but the ball is in your hand. Some more said it is, it is like um, an election, free people to vote. You need to, to win. Jesus bought for you. Mm. The devil bought against you. And the next person to fall is you. Mm. Jesus respect your choice. Wants us to understand what is at stake. And so what you do with your salvation is up to you. May the Lord continue to be with us. I pray that when the trumpet shall sound and Jesus begin to descend the clouds, uh, those of you that are here, I pray that you will be among those uh, whom Jesus will If you honestly want to go with Jesus when he comes, just raise your hands where you are. If you believe it, with all your heart, please stand to your name. Oh, Father, thank you, God. We understand from the word of God that Jesus has died 
to save us. He died so that we can live uh, eternally. To give us everlasting joy. He died to place salvation within our grasp. I pray, O oh God, for that man, for that woman, that brother, that sister, that young lady who loved Jesus, but this morning he or she is aware of a situation that exists in his or her life that can cause her or can cause him salvation. I pray, O oh God, that we understand that salvation is too much an important thing for us to gamble and for us to live undone. May we see the need, the necessity to put first things first and make Jesus our Savior to ensure of our salvation today. Grant, O oh God, when we Leave this building uh, until we say, by the grace of God, I will take care of the things that need to be taken care of. When Jesus comes, uh, I can go and live with him. May the blessings of God be upon those of us to the year. And every man, woman, boy, a girl who exercise faith in Jesus, grant, O oh Father, that when you come to receive the saints, we can get to be a man the Redeemer through Jesus Christ, our Lord. We and Amen.